It was homecoming weekend at Joe Burrow Stadium as the Athens Bulldogs took on the Maze Marauder. As both teams were trying to get back in the win column after losses last week. Meg was able to open up the scoring as Coulter Cleveland takes a snap and runs it right up the middle and in for a touchdown to give the Marauders a 7-0 lead. Athens was able to answer right back though with a dime by Landon Wheatley to Levi Neal to make it a 7-6 game. On a fourth down try, Cleveland scrambles and tries to extend the play but is intercepted by Derek Welsh who takes it back to the house for a pick six to give the Bulldogs a 14-7 lead. After another Athens touchdown to give them a 14 point lead, it looked like the game was slipping away from the Marauders, but Coulter Cleland was able to find his brother Griffin Cleland in the end zone, with 38 seconds left in the half to cut the Athens lead to 7. The Bulldogs were not done scoring in the first half though, as Landon Wheatley escapes the pressure and finds Derek Welsh for a 30 yard catch. A couple plays later, Wheatley finds Welsh again, but this time for a touchdown to give Athens a 14 point lead going into the half. The Marauders were able to score to open up the second half, and then after Athens muffed the kickoff, Meigs had a short field and capitalized with Matt Barr, who was able to punch it in to tie the game at 28. It looked like Meigs might be gaining some momentum, but the Bulldogs were able to answer with another Derek Welsh receiving touchdown, his second on the day to put Athens back on top 35-28. to Athens was able to put the game on ice with back-to-back -back rushing touchdowns by Luke Brandes, to put the Bulldogs up 49-28. The big performance of the day by Derek Welsh, who combined for three touchdowns, was a massive part in the 49-35 win by the Bulldogs. Athens was able to advance to 2-1 in the Tri-Valley Conference, and Meigs falls to 1-2 in the conference.